Hello everyone, how's it going? Vasco here from the Angular University. Welcome to my course on the NGRX reactive extensions for Angular. In this course we are going to learn about store architectures in general, when to use them and why. We are going to go a little bit over the history of this kind of architectures. We are going to go back to the original talk of the Flux architecture presented by Facebook originally to present an architecture that allowed the Facebook team to solve a very specific set of problems that they were having in their application, namely the famous Facebook counter bug. Do you remember this bug a couple of years ago? We always had this unread messages counter on the top. We would click on it and there would be no unread messages and this bug kept coming back for the Facebook team and it originated a new architecture called Flux which later gave origin to Redux and to the use of store architectures in general. So in this course we are going to go over Flux, then we are going to go over the variation of the Flux architecture which are store, single store solutions like Redux or NGRX store. We are going to implement the same application that the Facebook team used to demonstrate the use of the Flux architecture, so the Flux chat application. We are going to implement it in NGRX using NGRX store. So this is the application that you will build during the course. You will be building a chat where, for example, you will be able to type here a message, hello Bob, and the messages will pop up on the other side. Take a look. This is the counter, the unread messages counter. So you will be solving the same problem that the Facebook team solved a couple of years ago that originated the Flux architecture and all its variations like for example Redux, NGRX store, etc. This will be the same problem that we will be solving. For example, we have here, here user Alice and Bob. But let's say that, for example, here we have a third uh, user named Chuck that is writing here a message to Alice. And Alice is meanwhile talking to Bob. So if we say hi Alice here, what will happen is that this is going to bump the unread messages counter from Alice. So let's do this again. Again, the unread messages counter is bumped. Now, the thread is also marked in red and you receive here the latest message here that is displayed here in the thread summary. Now, meanwhile, Alice and Bob have kept chatting, going back and forth. And meanwhile, the unread messages of Alice is still at 2. When you click here, this is going to put the unread messages to zero. So you will be fixing the same issue that the Facebook team originally solved and you will be solving that problem using not React and the original Flux store, but you will be using Angular 2 and the NGRX store library. So one of the goals of the course is to understand what gets loaded in the store, why, how to derive view models from the data that gets stored in the store. We are going to learn how to use TypeScript to clearly define the state that the store can contain and we are going to use it also to define clearly the difference between the model of our application and the view model. So we are going to leverage TypeScript to help us build our program. You will notice that, for example, here in the original Flux chat demo application, because it was made in JavaScript, we don't have really type definitions for the different models that are available on the application. This is unlike the application that we are going to build, where there will be a clear separation of what is a model, what is a view model, when should we use each of these models, what type of models go over the wire when we communicate between the client and the server. And of course, we are going to use the NGRX store dev tools. We are going to learn how to set up the dev tools, how to use the time traveling debugger utility, 
we are going to see how to use the DevTools to debug our program. We are also going to cover some more debugging techniques for Angular 2 applications in general, namely for example how to debug RxJS observables, how to produce a log similar to this one. We are also going to cover the NGRX ecosystem in general, such as for example NGRX effects, the integration with the router and the integration with IndexedDB, so a database that runs on modern browsers. We are also going to cover immutability and on push change detection and what are the benefits of working in such a way and what are the consequences as well. So to summarize, the goal of the course is to introduce the Flux architecture and the store pattern and store architectures in general by going back in time and seeing what was the original problem that the Flux architecture was designed to solve, what type of applications are a good fit for that development paradigm, to introduce the dev tools, to introduce the NGRX ecosystem of libraries, so not only the store that but everything that revolves around NGRX store. So in a nutshell, this course is both an architecture course on the Flux architecture and on store-like architectures like Redux and NGRX store in general, but it's also a hands-on course where we will be building a chat system from scratch from an empty folder using NGRX store and the NGRX library ecosystem. The goal is really to see how can we build an application from A to Z using NGRX. So I hope that you will enjoy the course, I hope to see you inside, and without further ado, let's get started!